Hello everyone, welcome to Avipedia. My name is Abhishek Sharma and we are continuing with the basic concepts of Indian economy. And today we'll be studying what are the benefits that are offered only to small scale industry in India and is not available to the large scale industry. Why this topic is important? Essentially, in India, Economic Survey 2019 highlighted in its volume 1, chapter 3 that there are a lot of dwarf firms in India. And these dwarf firms are essentially destroyed uh, destroying the employment and they are not generating as much employment as they are supposed to generate or productivity and that creates a limit upon the uh, economic growth model in the industry and as well as the limit upon the policy that the government is having for uh, providing a boost to the small scale industry. See as far as the small scale industry is concerned government is providing certain kind of benefits without any sunset clause or without any time limit end in case of small scale industry. So as long as they remain small scale, these benefits are available to them. But moment they become large scale, these benefits are withdrawn. So this kind of makes them a permanent kind of small scale industry structure and that's how they intend to become dwarfs. So dwarfs are described as uh, firms which are more than 10 year old, but they have less than 100 employees. All right. Now in India, the benefits that are given to these dwarfs are number one, priority sector lending. Now, under priority sector lending, they are definitely given credit and there is also some interest subvention available in this credit. So this is one benefit that is given to dwarf firms or small scale industry in India as long as they are in that category. Moment they move out of that, this benefit is no longer available. So this is a benefit. Second is credit guarantee fund scheme. Credit guarantee fund scheme. So this basically addresses the collateral problem in small scale industry in India. Essentially, the small scale industry is not able to afford guarantees or collateral for uh, borrowing from the banks. So under this scheme, government provides the credit guarantee for all kinds of borrowing requirements of uh, these companies. Uh, in fact, under uh, SIDB, they created a Credit Guarantee Fund Trust of India Limited, which takes up these guarantees. So this pr provides another benefit for those which are small scale industry, you know. Then third is there is a price preference policy. Price preference policy. Now, under this price preference policy, essentially, they get a 15% premium over the large scale firms in case of any kind of bidding that they are doing for any kind of order that is to be uh, given to the government or that is to be purchased by the government. So, for example, the government wants to buy books or, uh, you know, any kind of ledgers or any kind of stationery. Now, a large scale firm let's say it gives the price of 100 rupees and on the contrary small scale firm gives the price of 115 rupees so government has given a price preference of at least 15 percent premium to small scale industries so in this case the 115 rupee charging of small scale industry will be justified yes so this is a, again a, a benefit that they receive by remaining small then fourth one is benefits in tendering benefits in tendering. So any times of tenders that are floated by the central government for completion of any kind of task, maybe it is for maintenance, maybe it is for construction, etc. So there also certain kind of exemptions are given to the small scale industry. For example, they don't have to pay the tender fee, a minimum tender fee that uh, is to be given for considering a party as a uh, you know, competitor for any kind of tender which is floated by the government. Then government provides an incentive to them in terms of uh, finalizing the tender, helps them to uh, put their tender and uh, stand in the competition uh, in line with the large scale companies. So this is there for them. Then raw material assistance scheme is there for them. Raw material assistance scheme. So this is provided to small scale industry. In fact, there is a special body for that, that is National Small Industries Corporation. So any kind of imported or indigenous raw material, if they have difficulty procuring it, then this NSIC will help them in doing so. 
Yes. Then there is a marketing assistance scheme available to small scale industry. Marketing assistance scheme. So under this scheme, the government basically provides various kinds of avenues under which they can expand their market access, for example, by exhibitions, by trade fairs, which are organized by the government within India and as well as outside of India. So that is again a benefit that is available to these companies or small scale industries. Then there is GST composition scheme, you know. So under GST composition scheme, those small scale industries which have a annual turnover of right now uh, less than 1.5 crore, so they are eligible for this GST composition scheme and they can pay GST on a flat rate instead of having to deal with the whole GST infrastructure and paraphernalia or complications of the process. They can just continue to play it on a flat rate. So this is also available to them. Then there is exemption under central excise law. That is the eighth benefit. Exemption under central excise law. So they don't have to pay the excise duty on manufacturing, which the larger firms have to pay. So these are the benefits of remaining small in India in terms of the size of the industry. So essentially, these benefits are provided without any kind of sunset clause by the government. That means as long as they remain small, these benefits will be available. So in a way, it is a kind of disincentive from becoming large. So these incentives must have some kind of sunset clause that is essential. So only then small scale industry would try to become larger if this kind of uh, system is dealt with in a proper, uh, proper reform. Okay. So this is essential for Indian economy so that our industries can become bigger. Otherwise, these small scale industries play a very you know, unique role and very critical role in Indian economy. They represent almost 45% of India's manufacturing. They employ around 11.2 uh, crore people that is second largest after agriculture. They are also a major contributor to India's exports. So we need them to grow large so that in today's globalized market, in the globalized economy, they can also become part and parcel of the value chain in a much better way and earn a lot more for themselves as well as the people who are attached to these small scale firms. All right. Thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, press the bell icon for any kind of alerts that you can get from time to time from our side. So thank you so much. All the best for your preparation. This is me, Abhishek Sharma, signing off.